Hey guys, it's me, Jonathan Graham. Valentine's is coming up. Day is coming up, so I designed this fortune teller here for Valentine's Day. If you hold it, like, go like this, you can see there's a heart on the top. See that? And it's a cootie catcher. This is from a six-inch square, so it's a little bit small. You can see it could actually use it. You can see the color changed heart. So that's what we're going to make right now. A Valentine's Day cootie catcher. So I'm going to use be using this dual paper with red on the back and um, this sort of um, uh, design on the on the face. So I'm going to fold this. I want to have the heart to be red, or yeah, it looks red anyways. So first we're going to divide this into thirds. So we're going to do that like we do usually. We're going to take this, make an S shape. line it up as best we can and pull, pinch it. I'm going to have the red side up because I want the heart to be red. And now we're going to fold the other way, but this will be easier because we're going to first divide, fold this diagonally in half both directions. And then we're just going to take this edge and bring it to where these creases intersect the diagonal, and that's one third. Now we're going to divide this into six sections. So first we're going to fold in half, horizontally and vertically. And then we're going to fold these to the third marks like we did before. So there's like that. And this, that, and then this to crease right there. Okay, now you can see we div this is now divided into a 6 by 6 grid. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take these corners. We're going to flip this over, and I hope you can see it here. We're going to take this corner, and so you can see this two by this is one third of our square, two sixths by two units. We're going to fold this up to there, this corner up to here, and unfold. And we're going to do the same on every side. So you're folding in to the basically one-third, the two by two squares. So this is two units by two units, and then there, it's a square shape. So when you have these folded, it will be one-third we folded over, the diagonal area it was on one-third, so it's the middle third. Now we're going to unfold those, we're going to unfold all four, we're going to flip over, and now we're going to fold a twelfth. We're going to take this edge here and fold it to this crease right here. And we're going to only fold from, only in this area right here, we're just going to fold it from this angle here to that diagonal there on all four sides, folding into the, the outermost, this edge to that crease. You can see the crease goes from this diagonal here to this diagonal, and it's a valley fold. So now to make the, fold these in, we're going to do kind of a squash fold, we're going to bring this in. This is kind of a fun fold, and then push this down. And the same here. And here, you see when you bring it in, and then squash it like that. So we have kind of like this picture frame shape. And now what we're going to do, actually we're going to unfold for one second, and we're going to fold two of these corners into this, this square here. Fold it into that crease right there. Like that, and then we'll we'll back our squashes and now we're going to fold these two corners out right to the corner so we have two red solid red squares and then the, on one side and then two triangles down here and now we're going to take this flap here and just fold it inside that's why I made that crease the red sections you see are going to actually become the so this folds right back on its crease. So we have, looks like a picture frame. And now we're going to make the heart. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this two, these corners we're not going to do anything with. We're going to do these two. We're going to take this flap, unfold it, unfold this about a third of the way from this crease right here. And this is kind of intuitive. You can fold it however you want and fold it back. And then this one here, I just take it and kind of fold it behind a little bit. Like that. And then here, bring this back, fold this tip in, 
And then this tip, make sure you do it on, don't do the one on the bottom, make sure you would do the one up here. Do it fold in the one on the top. Make that one a little bit better looking. There we go. So you can see now what we're going to do. Now this is, I'm sure you guys know how to fold a fortune teller. This is basically, if you don't know how to fold a fortune teller, it's pretty easy to learn how to. You can find instructions all over the internet, all over YouTube. So to fold a fortune teller, we're going to flip it over so it's this way. And we're going to do a blintz fold. We're going to fold this corner right to the center. And we're going to do that with all four corners. I'm sure you guys, if you know how to fold a cootie catcher, this is pretty easy. And then, very simply, we're going to flip it over and fold these tips to the center and do a, another blintz. And the way we have it creased, you should have your creases there already. And then you're going to fold in half, unfold, fold in half the other way. And now you're going to push these together by putting your fingers in these pockets at the bottom. And then, just going to just reinforce everything nice. And there you go. There's your little Valentine heart fortune teller. There we go. And you can actually, you know, make it work like a fortune teller. There you go. So, there it is. There's a heart. Oh, there we go. And here's one with fancier paper that I showed before. So I hope you're able to fold that. Um, it wasn't that hard to make. And happy Valentine's Day, and I will see you next week.